Welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about mounting our final print and kind of deciding which one we're going to do. So the goal here is to choose your best print. You've made four prints, um, one colored one and then another special edition and what you're going to do is you're going to mount the one that you want me to grade. So if I were looking at my four prints here I would think you know which one is the best and how could we tell that? Um, number one I'd say these two we would probably take out right away because it's got this big dent in it from when I was doing the demonstration of how not to print, right? Likewise, on these ones, um, you know, the lines here on the feet are a little fuzzy. I kind of lost the line on the bill of the toucan's nose here. This one, it's a little patchy up here, like there wasn't enough ink, or maybe I didn't press hard enough. So these two, I'd say, are definitely out because they just the print quality of them are not as great. Um, in here, I'd say these two are pretty good. This one, eh, right here, I, I put, should have put more ink right here. The line quality is really nice back here, and the color is great back here. And then right here, I kind of missed this part. So I'd say even though this one's green, and I really like the color, and I think it looks cool, it's not as high quality as this. If I were grading, I would want to see this one because, you know, it's got the most area of, you know, dense, thick ink. Um, there's a little bit right here that could have been better, but the line quality on the toucan is really nice. Um, the darkness of the ink in most of the area is um, is the best. Okay, so this is the print that I'm going to mount. Um, and if you look on the back, it's the first one I made. Sam the man here, one out of five. There's my name. Should be looking like that. Then you're going to choose one piece of paper. You can choose any. Um, color paper you want. You can just one piece of colored paper to mount that final print on. So you're going to take your uh, print and you're going to put it into the middle. You know, I, I'm going to have mine the horizontal way. If yours belongs the vertical way, then do it that way, whichever way your print looks best. Um, with our tap and glue bottle, you're going to have to just tap the top, um, get some of that chunky glue off so it can work. Remember this glue bottle is a silent tool. You press down and squeeze so that it's silent. One thing about this ink here is the ink is water soluble. So if you take your glue bottle and you put ink all, or um, glue all over the back, what will happen is the ink will start to get sticky and get like black and spotty and it'll look really bad after it's mounted. So when you do your mounting, really just put one little glue dribble on each corner so that when you flip it over, the glue doesn't sink into the paper and have big lines and schmears on it. Really just one, two, three, four bunny hops. Flip it over, kind of center it in the middle, and glue that part down. Then rewrite your title, please onto your paper. Okay, and by rewrite it, I mean put your title on this side. Sam the man. Put your edition number, this was one out of five, and then put your name. Okay, and that's what the mounted print should look like. Then you're gonna put your self-evaluation on the back. Flip it over, take your self-evaluation, and there are the essay questions right up here. So take your paper. If you want to use this name tag, you can cut that off and use it as well. You can put that on the front as well. Um, and you can make sure that you've got your name tag nicely put on the front. Okay, But make sure that when you glue it down, you're going to just glue down this bottom piece right here. Okay, Put a couple dots of glue there, flip it over so that you can make sure you peel this part back and still be able to write your essay questions right here. Okay, so if I turn this now, I'm going to write my name up here for sure. Write your name, Mr. Lundgren. And let's pretend this is Mr. Barton's class with your teacher here, right, Barton? or whatever class you're in and then we'll start filling out our self-evaluation together. Um, with your name tag please make sure that when you do your name tag it's nicely filled out so that we know who it belongs to. I want to hang these up so um, make sure you have a nicely written out name. 
on your name tag and that your name tag is nicely centered below your print okay so if we turn this over now and we put our name tag like right down here put some little glue dribbles on it one two three bunny hops put your artist name Mr. Lundgren you would write your name of course your homeroom teacher, what did we say, Barton, right? Title of the project is over here. Sam the Man Print. And this grade that we did it in was fourth grade. So write your grade four. Okay, and actually now that I've turned this over, you can kind of see if I, if I rock this in the light, you can kind of see right here where that glue dribble has gotten wet and changed the color of the ink a little bit. So that's what it will look like all over your print if you put too much glue on. So really just do one or two dribbles so that it looks nice and neat when we're done. And make sure you have your self-evaluation on the back like this. And we'll fill this part out and the top part out together in class. Okay, and that's your finished Integlio mounted print.